Hi there, I'm Mike Retro and welcome to TechX Retro. Today we're going to unbox the Atari Game Station with 200 plus games in it. This is of course an emulation device with RGB lighting and I got to admit I really like the aesthetics of this. Kind of got a 7800 vibe. So um, stick with me while we open this box. I am late to the game but that is okay. I'm quite excited about this. I got more to come in this ongoing series of emulation. Thank you. Okay, so right here we got the box. We've got the different systems that it operates. Atari 2600, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, and Arcade. Plus on top here you have their uh, main IP titles headlined across the top of the box. It's a nice display of a box, I must admit. It's kind of got this foil image on it. So what we're going to do now is uh, grab my little trusty tool, which I've used in the first video. This thing, I would say this thing has never let me down, but as you'll see in a minute, it lets me down big time. On the side of this box, there's kind of a wooden grain look, and stupid me with this thing here, I, I, I gouge it. Yeah, I'm pretty mad. It's a bad blooper. Story of my life. Okay, so let's uh, open it up, now that I had to use my fingernails. And we're welcomed with the unit, of course the console, and the two controllers, and a pack of cigarettes from Atari. Thank you Atari, but I don't smoke. Just kidding, inside here is probably going to be the manuals. It's going to be a lot of the other paperwork and uh, documentation for this console. First we start off with... Uh, the brochure, which has the game station on the front, and some little other trinkets that you could buy from them to add to your collection, which yours truly is in the middle of doing at the moment. It even has a place where you can check mark it. Then we got the manual. It looks thick, but it's really not. It's in multiple different languages. It's just a few pages on setup and buttons and start to get you going. A lot of it is kind of uh, figuring it out on your own. Next, this should be the Certificate of Authenticity. I said that on the first goal, that's right. This is the certificate showing that this is the real deal. The strange thing with this I saw in the unboxing in YouTube channels, I, I, I suspect from the US, it included four AA batteries. I don't know why this didn't include it. So here's the console. It's pretty solid. It's got arcade-like buttons on it. It's got rubber feet. It's heavy. It does light up with RGB. It's, uh, yeah, it's solid. As I knock on it, I mean, this thing here is the real deal. On the back, you've got the HDMI. You've got your 5-volt in. It includes the power cable that will use a wall wart that you have to supply yourself. That's right. Hit that uh, junk drawer, everybody in your kitchen. Has a reset button, and it also has a side slot, which I didn't show, that has an SD card. Allows you to play your own games. Here's the HDMI cable. Here's one of the two controllers. It's very light and flimsy feeling. Right here, we got the, the battery logo. Not logo, but it's a sticker. It's kind of a seal. At first when I saw this, I thought it was some sort of recharging apparatus, but it's not. It's got a screw and a clip to remove the door. Yep, that is the where the RGB will light up. It's got a good feel to it. It's um it's got the it's a little clicky clicky. The spinner feels nice. We'll be trying that shortly. It's got that side button. Then we have uh, the second controller here. And then there's that USB cable I was telling you about. It goes in the back of that unit where the 5 volt input Type-C is. This is where you supply your own power supply to use the unit. 
So I'll lift this out to see if I'm not missing anything. Nope, she's pretty empty. Back in you go. All right, let's uh, pop off the bottom door now and pop in some uh, expensive alkaline batteries from the local pharmacy. It's got a clip and it has a screw as well. I don't see the point of that. I mean, it's not a lithium battery or a NICAD battery or anything that you don't want to spill or break. It's just double A, but hey, if you drop it, you don't want it spilling, I guess. So here we go for double A, as you can see. Now we're gonna give it a little gameplay. I heard some, you know, bad things about these controllers from other reviewers, so let's hope they're wrong and I really like them. So it's loading. Here we go, my arcade. Kind of, uh, Looks like a an arcade at a mall, like uh, the Wii U Me Me's um, decided to go to a different venue. We're gonna start with Breakout. This will use the spinner and button A. It's been a while since I played this game, but it brings back a lot of nostalgic memories. Let me tell you. So the spinner's a little touchy on this. It's Kind of jerky, I might, I might say. And there we go. I missed one. Yep. See if I can make this one successful. Nope. There we go. I'm feeling it now. And then it's gone. All right, let's try uh, some of the other games here. This is all your Atari 2600. This here is the Atari 5200. We're going to play Centipede, and uh, I love this game. Look at the display, the synopsis, showing you the buttons. Emulator Altaria, if I'm saying that correctly. And then, boom, I die right away. Man, I hate spiders. You know, a lot of people dump on the Atari 5200 its size and how big it is and its crappy controllers. But the gameplay was amazing. It was the closest thing if you didn't have an 8-bit computer at the time. You just got an Atari 5800. I mean, it's pretty much identical. Yep, that's the end of that game. Let's uh, see what else we got here in the menu. All right, Desert Falcon. Here we go, boys and girls. Tari 7800. I believe it's to do with a falcon in the desert. Quote me if I'm wrong. There we go. I'm going to take a little run here. Yeah, birds are not meant to run on the ground. Here we go. And then we hit a post. The controls are... I don't like the controls. They are... Very dodgy. Very, very dodgy. I mean, once I get going here, I got a momentum, but... It's really hard to control this. 
Now, mind you, you can use aftermarket controllers like the Xbox controller, US, different kinds of USB controllers. The 8-bit dough, I believe, works on this as well, which I will be trying in the future. You know, this game isn't half bad. I'm going to be uh, heading back to this later and uh, getting the feel of it, if you know what I mean. All right, we're back in the main menu here. Hope you're still here and I didn't bore, bore you yet. The action's just beginning. This is all the arcade games. You got Millipede, Missile Command, Runaway. We're going to do a little Millipede. Button A, of course. Now, this here is an arcade ROM, so it's going to have a coin-up option on it. It doesn't really say. Now, mind you, I never read the manual. Good job, Mike. But here I am hitting Start and Select, and I can't seem to get her to go. Oh, wait. There we go. Let's get into this. Boom, I'm dead. You know, I must admit, the controls for the arcade game, I don't know if it's this one in particular, are not too bad. I, even though I just died, I got a great feel for this. I... Maybe it's more geared towards the arcade ROMs. I will have to find out as I go down the road, try different controllers. I'm definitely going to try the, the controller to come with the 400 Mini, that's for sure. That good old CX stick, CX40. I got to do a little mod to that to get that to work properly, because that was pretty horrible as well. All right, we head back to the menu. Here you got your paddle games. That's kind of mix all paddle games. So here's Avalanche. It's kind of like Kaboom from Activision on the Atari 2600. Instead of catching bombs, you're catching rocks. Or I think they're snow boulders. I mean, quote me if I'm wrong. I haven't played it before, so I'm still trying to figure out how to get this whole coin thing started here, so. All right. Let's hit button A. Yep, I'm a pro already. Yeah, let's give this one more go. I don't think I have any more more coins in it anyway. Yeah, that's the end of that. Game over, boys and girls. Game over. Here you got your multiplayer and your recent games. Now we're going to go into the settings. Here's where you can change the aspect ratio from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3. I'm a 4 by 3 kind of guy. And then I believe you can also apply bezels. Yeah, and what we can do is we can just have the 4x3. We can have the Sith Wave or my favorite, the CRT TV. And you know what? That's total retro for me. Let's do it. Now, what game to give this a test run in? Oh, I know. It's one of my favorites if you haven't figured it out already. 
That's right. See it on the far right there? My good old missile command. Let's go straight to it. Synopsis, A button, beautiful. There's the CRT bezel, looks great. Must say though, I'm pretty well versed in Missile Command, but this controller makes it very difficult. I had the same problem when I was playing it on the Atari 400 Mini with the CX stick. Now the 400 Mini was made by Play on Retro Games. The, um, the game station is made by my arcade. Two totally different companies. There we go. Oh. Bye bye city. Yeah, I'm really not liking these controllers. They are... They're all over the place. They're very light. They're very flimsy. Let's see if I can save three more cities here. Yeah, that's the end of that. Now we're going to take a final word on what I think of the Atari Game Station from my arcade. So what do I think? I think it's a great console. I think, um, you know, it's a great collector's piece. It is emulation, of course, and uh, that's what this series is about. The controllers need work. The controllers are horrible. They are very flimsy and they got no weight or heft to them. So I'm not happy with the controllers at all. But like I mentioned earlier, you can use out-of-market controllers to use with this device and I think you'll be very happy with the gameplay well that's all today folks thank you for watching hopefully you made it this far please uh, click su subscribe and the notification bell as I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel I am still learning this thing here so it's all new so being from the outside looking in now I'm getting into it and I'm really enjoying it so um, let me know what you think, and um, we'll see you soon with the second part of uh, the emulation series. Have a great day, and uh, talk to you soon. Goodbye.